As the Valley Cats Media Bobblehead Contest comes down to its final days, and with our Greg Floyd in the final round of two, we thought we'd share more with you about the young girl that he's competing for. It's a really great cause and a great story. Jenna Johnson is live at The Joe in Troy with the details. Well, that's right, Julia. It is a great cause for this little girl. Nine-year-old Hannah is battling a rare nerve disease. She's one of 43 children in the U.S. that actually has this disease. And this bobblehead, a bobblehead like this one that would have her face on there, could actually help her uh, with her fight. And we're here now with Semi Baseball, and he's the MC of the Joe here. Tell us how um, this could help. Well, yeah, we we do this contest. We last time we ran this contest was back in 2010. But when we do it, it's it's extremely fun. Um, but it's really for the charities involved. Uh, there's 16 members of the media that were involved in this tournament. It's down to two now with Greg Floyd being one, uh, and his charity is Hannah's Hope. Uh, the winning charity in this tournament will receive $1,500 donation, uh, and there will also be a bobblehead giveaway here at the Joe uh, for the fans. So it's about raising awareness and, and, and raising money uh, for all the charities involved, and Greg Floyd is representing the Hannah's Hope. A great cause. And we also, Julia, we spoke to Hannah's family, and we're going to hear what they have to say right now. Unfortunately, Hannah's the only one in the world uh, with this, with this um, type of mutation on the GAN gene. So, um, you know, we kind of feel like God isn't done with us. As a dad, you expect to see her walk across the stage at graduation, walk her down the aisle, all that kind of stuff. We're planning on it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's... Uh, it's been a heck of a ride. There's a lot of people out there who want to help you. Mm -hmm. How does that make you feel? What do you say to all those people? Thank you. Greg at BobbleVote.com until Sunday, every day, once a day, and that's until Sunday night. We're live here at the Joe, Jenna Johnson, CBS 6 News. All right, Jenna, thank you very much for that report. Remember, you can vote every day. So that's right. Yeah.